We've talked a bit about Chris Judd over the last couple yeah, yeah, of nights. Yeah. I'm very interested to know what your thoughts are. Well, I watched it, and I don't usually watch that show, but I watched it, and now I worked out why I don't watch it <laughs> too much. But uh, I, I thought that he disrespected the current coach completely. He dismissed him. Absolutely dismissed him. That's not his job. His job is to build a culture at this footy club that actually works and makes it strong. This guy has turned this club around from kicking 67 points around a week to 89 points, from 17th to 5th in four weeks. They've won two games and they've lost two games by under a goal. And he got disrespected by the, by the director of football. I find that disgusting. And he, and he talks about getting senior coaches. We've had some senior coaches this, this century, Pagan and, and, and also Mick Mouldhouse. They didn't work. I can tell you the last three premiership coaches have all come from where? Assistant coaches somewhere. And one of them's Beveridge, the other one's Hardwick and the other one's Simpson. They all came from straight out of being an assistant coach under Clarkson. Pretty good uh, reign under Clarkson. So for mine, that's poor. Because he should apologise completely to, uh, uh, to David Teague because uh, that was absolutely ordinary at best. Would you have thought that... Chris Judd would have spoken to David Teague before he made those comments? No, I wouldn't have thought he would have spoke to him, no. Did he speak to... Who does he speak to? I, you can't get anything out of Chris Judd. Did you speak to, about Chris Judd recently yeah, in, I did. in your media role? Yeah. About... What he, took, what, what he did for Bolton? Did he actually go to a match committee meeting? Did he actually talk to him about the game style? Did he actually help him? How can I help you? How can we get better? How do we do this? Yeah, I did. How's the behaviours of, of our footy club? What's the behaviour like? So All this, this didn't stuff? impress you one little bit? Oh, I wouldn't have thought so, Robert. Would it impress you? If I was, if I was David, if I was David Teague, Teague today, in, Kingy, hang on in. one second. If I was David Teague today, going to meet the players today, and his players know that he's not going to be the coach, have you already been told? They're going for a senior coach. Well, who is the senior coach around here that's any good? Who's going to win a premiership? It can pop the, it can pop the bubble a little bit, can't it? Oh. The bubble of enthusiasm. I just thought that was really poor. It does make it hard for him to, to hold the players. Mm. There's no doubt about that. And maybe that's the awkwardness of, of having a caretaker coach for so long, so Sellers. Mm. That maybe the four, four weeks. Well, but he's got to have another six, seven. Yeah, but he might even turn that round and actually get a job. I, I'm and not I would, one, yeah. I'd love to see that. No, I'm with you. I agree with you. And then would Chris Judd be the director away of football? Those comments, haven't they? Carlton right. have backed away from those comments. Well, of course they have. Oh, well, I rang out, I rang Kate Linnell you, yesterday, yeah. which is on the back page today. Um, you're saying that if they do appoint David T, that should Chris he be? Judd, are you saying you answer the be? question? No, or... should he be the should he be the director of footy? You asking me? I would call it as a rhetorical question. I would too.